Good morning and welcome to Daily Devo, the best way to start your day in the Word of God. My name is Whitney Mead and welcome to the show. We are continuing to spend time with Vicki Heath, the National Director of the Faith-Based Wellness Ministry, First Place for Health. Vicki has prepared a week's worth of devotionals for us to get our health started off on the right foot in 2020. Vicki, welcome back to the show and take it away. Thank you, Whitney. Well, I want to talk a little bit about why faith changes everything. Uh, the Bible tells us that it is not possible for us to recreate ourselves. And we try to do that. Every January, we launch off on new wellness endeavors, and we try to force our body to do something that it doesn't want to. So transformation, as according to the Bible, comes when Christ is allowed to come and rule over us, body, soul, mind, and spirit. And so what we do is we approach getting healthy from a really a worldly worldview. So first thing we do is we start denying our body food. So especially women, mm -hmm. the first thing we do is we stop eating when we want to lose weight. Well, dieting doesn't work. I mean, studies show over and over, there's so much research that says de denying your body food is not a great way to get healthy. But that's what we do. Right from the beginning, we just say, I'm going to stop eating. Well, that's impossible. I know many, many of us have food issues, but stopping feeding my body is not going to work. In fact, my friend Gary Meacham says dieting is a carnal way to solve a spiritual problem. So I think about that. Uh, is my obesity, is my being overweight really not about the food? Could it possibly be a spiritual problem? And for me, in my life, Whitney, that's exactly what it was. So for years, I tried to manage my gluttony by over-exercising, by uh, fasting, denying myself, denying my body food, which it needed. And finally, one day, <clears throat> in my quiet time with the Lord, which I, even though I was managing my sin, I continued to have that quiet time with the Lord. And he spoke to me in the most profound way through the Holy Spirit. And he said this to my spirit, Vicki, what is it that food gives you that I cannot? And wow, I, I didn't have an answer. And then I realized that in order for me to really get healthy, to get to the place I needed to be in my weight, uh, balancing that with with moderate exercise, I really had to dig deep and find out the answer to that question. And for me, what I discovered is that I was impatient with God, that I really didn't believe that He could meet my needs the way food was. And that was such a lie that I had believed for so long. And so that issue with food and leaving God out of the equation led me to a really unhealthy lifestyle. Of, and I gained weight. I was not in a good place, even emotionally. So faith really does change everything. That we cannot neglect that spiritual part of ourselves, that emotional part of ourselves, and that mental part of ourselves. That's what we teach in First Place for Health that faith will change everything in your wellness endeavors. It will help you to sustain a wellness journey for a lifetime because we don't want to do something temporarily and fix ourselves temporarily because it's really not possible for total transformation to come apart from Christ. And that's why I, I just encourage you to think about whole person wellness and involve the Lord in every area of your wellness journey. Mental wellness, learning His Word, emotional wellness, surrounding yourself with people who will encourage you and love you through the journey. Uh, and then spiritual wellness, having that calling, that time with Christ so that He can empower you, so that He can change you from the inside out. 
so that you're no longer looking at exercise as punishment for my imperfect body, but looking at an opportunity to exercise that would give and bring God glory as part of my worship. So faith does change everything. For me, it gave me what I, the understanding of truth and freedom about food, about my body, and about exercise. So faith really is the key to success on your wellness journey. The Bible says it perfectly in the book of Hebrews. Let us fix our eyes on Jesus, the author and perfecter of our faith, who for the joy set before him endured the cross, scorning its shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. Consider him who endured such opposition from sinful men, so that you may not grow weary and lose heart. Faith changes everything. It will keep your heart strong to win the race on this wellness journey. Vicki, thank you so much. I know that God loves you so much and he cares so much, not just about your weight and not just about food, but you being a whole person and living in the freedom that Christ purchased for you on the cross. He really did come so that we could live free, free of addiction, free of um, obsession with food and exercise. So he is going to walk with you through this journey. But if you need support outside of just your quiet time with the Lord, which is the foundation mm -hmm. for your journey of wellness, I want to encourage you to check out First Place for Health. It is an amazing resource and you can learn more about First Place for Health kind of as a bird's eye view from this book that Vicki wrote called My First Place. It is the story of First Place for Health, so it's a great place to begin. You can find out more at firstplaceforhealth.com. This is available on Amazon. You can also find them on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, and I will leave links to those websites below this video. Thank you for watching and joining us today. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and we will see you bright and early tomorrow morning.